Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur. Now, last week I made a video about how the cybersecurity industry is changing, you know, some of the key trends we're going to be seeing in the next three to five years and how the market is going to be completely different in a very, very short amount of time, say three, three years, I would say. So I got a lot of comments on that video. So many questions, I was not expecting that many. So this is like a follow-up video to that original video and in this one i'm going to tell you about i'm going to dive, dive deep into more detail about which roles are going to get impacted the most as ai becomes more powerful and which are the roles that if you are in these job roles you should immediately look at uh, what are the strategies you can take so i'm not here to just scare you and make you feel bad about the job that you have i'm also going to tell you what you have to do and what are the areas which are looking bright and which are the areas that you have to focus on. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Tamurish Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services here in the UK. And I made this channel to give advice on cloud security, AI, and general cybersecurity career advice. So please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's get started. Uh, so this is the topic I wanted to talk about. And like I said, this is a follow-up video to my earlier video. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it below in the comment section. You can check that out first. But in that video, I talked specifically about how AI is completely changing the cybersecurity industry and what are the trends and some jobs which are going to get impacted. And a lot of people did ask me what jobs I am talking about here. So this is the focus of this video. So what are the key cybersecurity rules that will disappear first? First of all, let's set the context also. Like I said earlier, as we have seen, AI is becoming more and more powerful, right? AI is becoming more and more complex. The CEO of Anthropic and not just him, the CEO of Fiverr, all of them have said that a lot of jobs are going to get impacted. And it, this is no longer just hypothetical. This is the reality. The question is not if AI is going to impact cybersecurity, it is how much, how much impact it is going to have to the industry. And just recently, I saw this news last week, which really impressed me that Meta, formerly Facebook, they are looking to fully automate their ad creation by 2026 end. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with cybersecurity? The reason this is meta ads, if you have ever worked in like digital marketing, Facebook ads is a massive industry, right? Copywriting these ads, uh, creating the images, uh, like choosing the right audience and then marketing. This is a massive multi-billion dollar industry. Meta is looking to fully automate and fully move this to AI by the end of 2026. Now, what is the equivalent of this in cybersecurity? I'm talking about things like threat hunting, right? I'm talking about creating cybersecurity awareness campaigns, uh, phishing campaigns, all of these things. You can see the equivalent, the equivalent platforms for this in cybersecurity are going to come out right so which will automate completely all of these things so this is the, the mindset i want you to understand where the industry is going meta is doing this for ads other companies are going to do this for their cyber security tasks also in the very near future so what jobs am i talking about when i said that jobs are going to get impacted right so the first job i wanted to talk about is the tier one SOC analyst now what am I talking about? Uh, I am talking about the person who is often, you know, triaging alerts. They're following predefined playbooks, which have been defined with the SOC team, the SIM team, repetitive, like rules-based work, right? I'm not talking about the people who are analyzing. Simply an alert comes in, you follow a predefined playbook and you close the ticket, right? Modern AI platforms, they have already integrated all these AI-driven analysis, context driven prioritization, auto triaging, decision trees, and now you have LLMs. You put a gen AI on top of that, it can generate the initial report also. Suddenly, you do not need human eyes to do what like an AI agent can do. So if your job is reading alerts, matching that to a pattern and escalating when unsure, then yeah, that job is in very much danger. So please, if this is what your job is, that you get an alert, and you look at the, okay, this is the playback I have to follow, right? And then you close the alert, close the ticket in service now, whatever you're doing, that job is in severe danger of being automated very, very much soon. It may be the country that you're in, or maybe the company that you are in that has not adopted AI so like very, very quickly, but it will happen. So what, what can you do here? So you can upskill towards tier two, tier three incident response, you know, things learn things like automation, a cloud incident in triaging AI incidents, like 
become the person who builds these sort of systems and not just somebody who is just sitting there passively waiting for the tickets to come in and then close them. Think, look at things like automation and cloud security. Look at things like AI specific alerts, AI based SOC, how to manage them. You can create your own agent which does this and make it a product and sell on the market. But please, this is very, very important, guys. If you're doing this job, first of all, these jobs are going to get shrink, are going to shrink in the market as AI agents become more and more intelligent. And if you're already in this job, then you have a danger of this job getting automated very, very soon. Please look at what I've said about what to do instead and then make a roadmap about following it. Okay. What else is there? The second one is, and this one hits home to me because this is the job I used to do many, many years ago, but I'm talking about the security compliance, uh, the checklist auditor. I'm not talking about governance risk and compliance. I'm talking about the checklist auditor. Mostly, if you've seen in these big companies, you have an entry level people whose main job is to collect evidence, you know, checklist, checking of controls, the basic level uh, checklist. Like for ISO 27001, PCI DSS, NIST, they have to fill out these massive, massive forms, Excel spreadsheets, gather evidence for the senior auditors. How is AI replacing this? Well, AI is now getting more and more integrated uh, policies, controls, logs. It can take snapshots and map them to compliance standards. On, honestly, even before AI, like cloud platforms like AWS, you had audit manager, it was able to grasp all these audit evidences and collate them in one central location. But you put Gen AI on top of that and you put AI agents on top of that, suddenly all of these things can be done very, very smoothly, very, very fast. So if your job is like I've written here, that you're simply filling out Excel spreadsheets, you're, you're, or you're updating the same spreadsheet that was there, in 2024, you're updating it for 2025, you're copy pasting it, moving screenshots between folders, all of these things will get replaced again by bots, by AI, by Gen AI, by agents that integrate directly with platforms. So what, what can you do? If you are looking at this sort of job, please, you need to pivot into something which is more analytical, more human based, something like AI governance. You know, you understand the regulatory impact of AI, uh, compliance engineering, the way you're writing scripts to pull that logic data, learning how to apply compliance frameworks, you know, like the EU AI Act, ISO 42701 to AI systems where you need a lot of human uh, interaction there. So if you're that simple security compliance checklist auditor, but okay, I want to be very clear. I'm not talking about people who are in governance risk and compliance. I'm talking about the guy who's simply ticking off boxes in a checklist or he's updating the checklist from last year. Again, this job is in very severe danger of getting automated very much soon. Okay, what else is there? The basic vulnerability assessor. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about the guy who gets a list of IP addresses. He puts them in a tool like Nessus and Qualys and he generates a report like a PDF or an Excel and he emails it to the IT team for fixing. Please, this is not a job which has any growth potential in the very near future. All of this is again, being replaced by AI driven platforms. Most of the platforms, the vulnerability assessment platforms, they already have AI being integrated with them that can auto prioritize, that can do all of these things. They can understand what sort of scans to run, what sort of reports to generate, automatically send it to the right stakeholders. You don't, if you're just running scans, this job is again, very, very in, in danger of going away very time. Again, this job is in danger of going away very, very soon. You, we need people who understands these sort of risks, who understands, who analyzes risk. We don't need people who run scans. So like I said, if your value is running scans and like sending reports, you're going to be get replaced by these AI tools. So you need to focus on vulnerability management. Okay, not just like assessment running these scans. You need to understand how to prioritize threats, how to understand the business risk behind it, or specialize in areas like AI model vulnerability scanning, you know, things like data poisoning, uh, tool poisoning with MCP, uh, model poisoning, all of these new types of vulnerabilities which have come out, you need to understand those. Instead of just sitting around and doing the same old scans again and again, generating the same old reports and then every quarter and then emailing it to the IT team, that job does not have a future. Okay, what else is there? Now let's move on. Uh, the firewall rule manager. And again, I'm not talking about our very hardworking network people who maintain these firewalls, but I am talking about the guy who is simply, you know, uh, making static changes to firewalls, updating signatures, blacklist, uh, allow blocklist, 
you know, the guy who gets emailed that these are the IPs to block or these are the signatures to block and he does goes around and does it manually on firewalls. AI models are getting rapidly, rapidly trained on traffic. We have zero trust models which are driven by AI which are coming in, which are making all of this very, very obsolete. Agentic AI is being deployed within network, within network environments which is capable of adjusting controls in real time. It does not have to wait for human approval okay so again if your work is that you are waiting for a ticket to come in so that you modify the ports modify the protocols your your role will get phased out in the next few years as ai becomes more and more intelligent and you have network agents coming out which can do this job much more efficiently what you need to do you need to move towards things like security architecture or zero trust design you know zero trust is the proper model for agentic ai for gen ai as networks become more and more complex so think focus on things like micro segmentation microservices im based access controls areas which are still new zero trust is very much still a concept for the vast majority of companies they are still implementing it please if you move away from just black allowing and disallowing traffic and modifying ports all of these things are going to get automated very very soon okay so that was number four and lastly is the access review coordinator so these are even people who have reported to me at any given point in time this sort of role involves that you're checking recertifying user ids and permissions identity access reports password resets you know and periodically recertifying these users again very very uh, like uh, rule based very very repetitive work now we have all these big identity governance platforms like okta they are integrating ai driven access rules so you have ai agents which are continuously going to be looking at permissions and evaluating them and they'll be looking at the behavior within all of these are being integrated into one, one platform okay so if your job is sending these user reports sending reminder emails and collecting approvals ai bots are going to do it much much faster and much more efficiently and they won't get tired also so you want to focus and move into things like identity engineering identity governance uh, high level identity flows maybe specialized in ai augmented identity governance this is a new area which is coming out where you build logic and rules for continuous authentication uh, again zero trust plays a very very important part here as agentic ai and as gni applications are going to get more and more integrated companies are going to be focusing more and more into agentic ai so these were just a few of the roles which i wanted to talk to you about the access review coordinator the firewall rule manager the basic vulnerability assessor the security compliance checklist auditor and the tier one SOC analyst so now that we have looked at and, and like i said my job is not to make you scared and make you depressed about the job that you're already going i want to show you what where the industry is going also so what is not going to get automated anytime soon these are the areas which are red hot and they're only going to get like more and more in demand as time goes on the threat modeling of ai machine learning systems you know a threat modeling agentic ai threat modeling generative ai threat modeling uh, like mcp servers all of these things are red hot i have so many courses on udemy you can check those out if you're interested in this particular uh, type of area uh, de designing secure architectures for multi-cloud as more and more ai becomes as ai becomes more and more popular the cloud is going to become more and more popular nobody is going to be deploying these things on prem all of this is going to be deployed within cloud environments so creating secure architecture for the cloud environments be it azure google aws all of these things the skills are going to be very very in demand managing the ethics and risks of agentic ai with agentic ai new types of risks come out right who is accountable for an agent if an agent groups up who is going to be responsible if it's a human being you know you can hold that person responsible right but what about agentic ai is it the company who developed it or the company who deployed it you know or like the environment the cloud provider is are those responsible these sort of questions are being asked as companies are deploying more and more agentic ai right and more than that four and five these are skills which are present and they will never go out of date they will no matter how much intelligent ai becomes it will never ever replace these four and five skills which is advising senior management you know on things like cyber liability how, what risk do you have communicating 
these sort of things to a non-technical age non-technical audience and communicating your security posture to non-technical stakeholders so what is happening is ai is going to remove the technical baseline now even your board member might be able to query a gen ai application and see what are the risks but and making them uh, giving them the right context explaining it to them this is the skill which is going to differentiate the people who are going to be successful in the ai age so these are the areas i want you to really think about uh, from the like from a 12 to 18 month roadmap for your career we still have six months to go in 2025 all of these things you can choose an area which you feel that you are good at and start deep diving into it start learning into it so what is the action point you know if you wanted to do it for 2025 let's say what you should do next so it's very simple i mean if you're asking me i would ask you to look at four areas first of all audit your role be honest and ask yourself what is the job that you are doing most of the time is most of your day repetitive work or is it judgment based if it's the former where it's just you're doing like you know copy pasted task simple task uh, which can be automated very very quickly then yeah again your job is in danger next step once you have done a like a proper audit self-assessment level up now now you want to learn about ai risks secure software architecture threat modeling gen ai governance cloud native security please all of these areas you need to upskill yourself asap additionally you want to start building a brand right start teaching what you learn linkedin youtube the education industry people want to know about these things and sometimes you feel that you're getting left behind the vast majority of the world is still behind in these sort of things they still have not learned and ai is evolving so fast a lot of companies i know they have not even understood the full risks of gen ai and now already we have a genetic ai and God, i mean who knows what's going to come out in the next six months so we need people who can communicate and make people understand these things and lastly uh if you're not able to get a job or you uh, like something bad happens and you get laid off now you can with ai the market is equalized right like i said in the previous video you can start your own company you know like literally with ai agents you can start become a solopreneur cyber security professional start your one person company uh, start looking at these sort of things i have a complete newsletter on this the cyber security solopreneur i'm going to try and link it below and check that out also so all of these opportunities now you have available to you so i hope you've understood now what I was saying when I said that some jobs are going to go away and like how the market is changing. Like I said, I want to give you a proper roadmap to be successful in this new AI era. My job, I'm not here to like make you scared and show that the whole cyber security industry is going to get destroyed. That is not the point. Cyber security will always be there, but a lot of jobs are going to get impacted. So I hope you've understood it better. Now I'm going to keep on making more videos and give more advice on this area because I see uh, this is where people are getting more and more concerned as AI becomes more and more intelligent. So thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me talk for some time. Please do like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you in the next.